everyone, this is Dial20, and welcome to episode 23 of Forgecraft, where today we're going to play a little bit more with uh, Ars Nouveau, because I want to check out uh, some of the mobs we didn't see last time, specifically Selfs and maybe Whelps. The problem is, is I spent, and Stream can attest to this, like 30 plus minutes flying around the world, we found easily like a thousand carbuncles. Easily a thousand carbuncles, and we found zero selfs. So we're not sure if there's like a bug with them spawning or just Dyer getting really bad luck. But Bailey, who's the mod author, has given me permission to cheat one in because I want to see it and play with it. So we're going to check it out. We're going to see how selfs work because they look cool. And I just want to understand how they work. So that's what we're going to do. So they're curious nature sprites. Look at this Enderman who's just like, guess what? I want to see what Dyer Wolf's up to right now. Enderman, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No. He just, in the middle of the day, look, it's almost noon. And this Enderman's like, <laughs> I'm going to teleport right over to you. It's a new mod I'm going to make, where I just replace the sound of Enderman with. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. So Sylphs, curious nature sprites that are exclusively found in forest areas. And yes, there's a lot of forest areas around me. That's where I looked. I looked in this forest. 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 I looked in every forest. Right? Um, so so what we want to do, uh, selves, summon selves can be given a home in the world and will begin producing natural materials, including wood, crops, seeds, and flowers that exist around them. Uh, wild selves can be befriended and will drop self shards if a tree is grown near them. Uh, so that's cool, right? Selfs will follow animals, players, and monsters. They will also grow grass around them every once in a while. To summon a self, use a self charm on a summoning crystal. Selfs consider their home to be 10 blocks in any direction from the summoning crystal. Uh, summoned selfs must be happy in order to produce materials, and their mood is determined by the number and diversity of natural materials in their home. You may use blocks on the self to gain additional info if a self would enjoy that block on their home. Note, selfs value diversity, and too much of one block will no longer count. Cool. All right. Interacting with the self with an empty hand will give you additional info on the self's mood and diversity of their home. A happy self will generate items and blocks from the natural materials in their home. These drop rates are determined by their proportions of blocks in their home. For example, to generate a lot of logs, grow more trees. To gain more seeds and crop harvest, plant more crops. You can get your charm back by using Dispel on a self. So basically, selfs equal auto farming. So you put a self near like some trees and some crops and stuff, and what it'll do is it'll automatically generate resources from those, those things. Uh, to generate drops, selfs require world mana that is in a jar adjacent to the summoning crystal and an inventory or chest next to the summoning crystal. Selfs will place their items directly in this chest in exchange for mana. Cool. Um, that seems good. Selfs will generate more drops more often with a higher mood and more drops at a time for every unique block in their home. There is no limit to the item bonuses given by diversity. Try to make an extremely happy self with extreme diversity. That sounds cool, but we're going to need a summoning crystal for that because unlike the carbuncle, we can't just place the self wherever. We have to have a summoning crystal and then we summon the self on top of it. But first things first, what we're going to do is summon a self in the world and grow a tree near them. So we're going to summon uh, Ars Nouveau self. Oh, hey, buddy. I did it. I grew a tree near you. <laughs> hey, it did make them happy. Sweet, that's cool. So that's the entity that you're looking for, right? Um, is that self right there. Oh my, look at this. Look at the ridiculous... What kind of leaves is this? What kind of leaves is this? What kind of leaf pattern is this tree? Like, for real, that's the weirdest leaf pattern I've ever seen. Let me talk about how weird that was. Nobody tell the self that I'm cutting down the tree I just grew. I'm assuming the self would be unhappy. I'm assuming that pretty strongly. But let's get, like, you know, a couple more of them. Alright, so he wasn't happy about that. But, yeah, I mean, he was happy enough. Haha, <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's more of a normal... That's more of a normal tree growth pattern. 
I just want to get a couple of these self charms. I love the sylphs. They are cool. They are just as cool as carbuncles. Like I said, I looked all over the place. I found no sylphs. I did my best looking for sylphs. Could not, could not have any luck. Whee! But it's all good because now we've got ye old charms. So you guys can go away. Sort, sort, sort. You too. You'll also notice in my inventory is the Book of Natural Aura. I want to check out Nature's Aura a little bit this episode too, if we have time. I'm suspecting that we'll check out Sylphs um, and maybe the Whelps, and then we'll probably shift into Nature's Aura, because I want to check out how that mod looks in 116, because I know Elpex has been working on it a bit, so I'd like to see what's new. So now if we want to get um, a Sylph Charm, it's going to need Sylph Shards, which we have now, Mana Gem, Mana Bloom, Mana Bloom Seed. You should note that I have most of these things pretty good to go. Right? So we want you, you, you. And then we want one of each tree type. And then Seeds. And you go in here, buddy. And what else do we need besides that? A diamond. A diamond. Getting a little bit low on diamonds. Hopefully I don't need a lot of those for Nature's Aura. And then shift right click. And we are cooking it up. I love that. I love that little animation too. That is beautiful right there. All right, sweet, self-charm. So that's cool. Now what I need to do is make the summoning crystal, right? Um, so that's gonna be two diamonds, four arcane stone, and two gold. Right, so that was Two diamonds, two gold, four arcane stone. So I grabbed too many diamonds by mistake, but that's okay. Nice. All right. So that's cool. And then what goes in the middle? Was it an arcane gem thingy? It is, a mana gem. Bada bing, bada boom. Look how cool that looks. How cool is that? Beautiful. Summoning crystal. Now we're probably going to want this uh, lovely little creature to live outside, right? We don't want we don't want this guy to live inside a basement. That would be that would be rude. That would be. I mean, it's clearly a natural creature. He should be outside among the trees. He should not be cooped up in a cave. So we're gonna do that. Right back in a moment. All right, guys, we're back. So uh, I flattened out a little area over here. Uh, nothing too crazy, but flattened nonetheless and uh i feel like this is a pretty natural looking spot uh we're gonna have like a bucket of water here for planting some seeds and whatnot now where is my bucket because i had a bucket and i thought i had it on me but apparently i don't because i'm a derp bucket please do i have a bucket in here really what happened to my bucket didn't i have a bucket I feel like I feel like I absolutely had a bucket and I have no idea where it went. All right, let me put away. Well, you know what? No, I'm going to keep these cuz those are going to be varying types of trees, right? And we're going to make this carbuncle or not carbuncle. We're going to make this self <laughs> as happy as possible. As happy a self as he or and or she can be. Okay, so let's make the Sylph's home. Where do I want the Sylph's home to be? We could plan, let's make the Sylph's home like right about here-ish. I like that plan. Uh, so you're gonna go there and we're gonna use the Sylph charm like that. Sweet. Now if I right click it, the Sylph seems very unhappy in her home. Ta try sprucing it up. There does not appear to be much diversity. 
I've got spruce trees. Does that count as sprucing it up? Does that count? Does that count as sprucing it up? Spruce trees. And birch trees. Okay, where'd you go? Hello. How you feeling, little buddy? The self seems very unhappy in her new home. Still, though? Still, though? So let's see, how do you feel about mystical these dudes? The self would be excited to have this in their home. Good, because you're getting them. You're getting them. How about this? Also excited. That seems cool to me. Good one, two, three, four. Oh, probably a little too far, but meh, doesn't matter. All right, let's see what else I got by way of crops. Because I feel like, you know, some carrots, some potatoes, something along those lines. Do we have any of those? Carrots, no. Potatoes, no. Pumpkins? No. Melons? Yes. Oh, I clicked I, I clicked the tilde button by mistake. I'm like, where'd those three iron come from? Oh right, yes. No, that makes sense. Cool. All right, Sylph, how are you feeling? The Sylph seems content, but could be better. There is some diversity, but could be better. These guys I need shears for, don't I? But we can get the different Batania flowers might be cool, because they should count as different types of flower. So this, this feels very much like witchery, remember? This definitely has a little bit of a witchery feel to it. Hey, get a couple different kinds of flower. I don't know what kind of flower that is. An aura bloom. Hey, isn't that from... Oh, nature's aura. Sweet. So yeah, we'll plant some diversity around here. Makes for a happy sylph. And hey, look, we want ourselves to be happy. Right? Speaking of this cool mod, Bailey just logged in to join us. Little bit of you, little bit of this, little bit of that. Okay, how are we feeling now? Still just content? Unacceptable. There's diversity out the wazoo around here. I guess nobody said sylphs would be easy to please, huh? We might be getting a little far. Oh, they take a minute or two to update their mood? Okay, that's fair. I mean, I guess you don't want to be doing that every tick, right? So that makes sense. Now, I seem to recall... Let's check out Latvian's base real quick. I want to see if he has any... Definitely some plants around here. Any potatoes or carrots by chance? Eh. I 
don't think he would mind, right? Wow, wow. Look at look at JEI's buttons now, right? Look at JEI's buttons now. Latvian, I'm stealing. I'm stealing from you, Latvian. I hope you don't mind. Latvian doesn't mind. But yeah, a few carrots would probably be cool. A few potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. How are we feeling, Sophie? Tell me how you feel. Don't ignore my clicks. Content, but could be better. Might just take him a minute to update his uh, his satisfaction level. But let's go get um, a mana doohickey. So I should have one more mana tank, shouldn't I? I think we made an extra before, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a mana tank here. And I'm gonna replace this full one down here. Wow, we have a lot of mana stored, don't we? And then we also need a chest, remember. And what we're gonna do, and I'll also bone meal the ground for some vanilla powders. That's not a bad idea. Um, food. And I feel like I'm moving so slowly. Don't I though? All right, we'll bone meal up the ground a little bit, you know. I'm trying to make this place as tranquil and awesome as you want it, Mr. Sylph or Miss, I'm not sure. Now I'm guessing I can place Ah, so you want the mana next to the summoning crystal and the chest on the other side. There we go. So let's see what Buddy Self thinks about that. The Self seems content but could be better. The Self thinks her home is very diverse. Well, thank you. That's better than before, right? Yeah, before it was there is some diversity but could be better. So in theory, oh look! Ooh, she's even generating Batania flowers. That's cool. So I'm guessing what the Sylph does is just kind of look around in, in the area of effect and is like, yeah, I can totally do that. I can totally, and just dupes whatever plants you happen to have nearby. I'm guessing that's basically what it is. The range is like 10 blocks from what it said in here. Uh, 10 blocks in any direction from the summoning crystal. So a 10 block radius, right, is, is what we get. And that is the sylph, and that is pretty cool. I like that. How neat is that? I like it. We're going to let this thing chill for a few minutes and see what happens. All right, guys, we are back. So let's do this. Uh, I want to switch over to Nature's Aura, because we played this a little bit in MC Eternal several series back, but I'd like to check it out by way of um, what's new in 116. That sounds like a good plan, right? So we're going to need some of this stuff. Uh, you should be able to request any type of leaf, though. Oh, you know what? I don't have any leaves at all, do I? So let's request some shears. Um... We're going to go out and about into the world. And you might notice that I flattened a bit of terrain. You might have noticed that. It's possible 
that you would have noticed a little bit of terrain flattening. Just a smidgen though. Cause I wanted to I wanted to have that area over there be kind of my nature's aura area. Cool. So this should craft no problem. We get a few more of these and we'll be good. Failed to request one grass. That's okay. We'll call that good enough for now. Do you have nowhere to go? Is that what's up? Yeah, you have nowhere to go. Bummer. I'm going to need another miscellaneous junk chest. Should I do that real quick while I'm here? Uh, I don't think I've got much by way of logistic -y things. Meh. Yeah, I really, really should. Do you have the resources for this? Yes. And then do you have the resources for this? Yes. And then pray tell the resources for this. Well, that's interesting. Silver to three. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Perfect. And then we're going to want another inventory node. Which is going to require a basic node. Which is going to require some of you. And we will probably need some glass. Let's get that smelting. Just want to expand my sorting system a little bit. Um, because that's probably going to be useful to have, right? So I need one of you. How are you doing over here, buddy? Sweet. Looking good. And then the last one. All right. And now we're going to need um we're gonna need two more of these. How are we for logistic keep things? Eh, we should really have more of these made. Not a bad idea, right? Yeah, I definitely implemented a crafting bug. I don't know exactly what's wrong there, but I'm sure it's something really obvious and stupid. And as soon as I look at it, I'll be like, ah, yeah, no, duh, of course, dire. That's exactly what I'll say. Now these should smelt pretty quickly because they have a pretty slow smelting time as it is. But I absolutely need to figure that out. All right, so uh, now I would like to make two more of these, right? Uh, one of you is going to be an inserter and one of you is going to be a provider. So for that, we're going to need uh, an observer. You guys like the observer recipe? I wonder, I wonder if that's a good recipe for the provider module. I mean, it seemed like it made sense to me at the time. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take all this stuff that we don't need no more is I'm gonna sort it all. But some things won't be able to sort obviously because we don't have room for them, right? So we're gonna make room by doing this. We're gonna pop this dude on here. You are going to get an empty blacklist. Now your current inserter is negative 10, so you're gonna be negative 11. And that should now sort the leaves into here as soon as I do that. Oh, so that's a thing. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Right, because you've got the extractor node on that. Yeah, I see what I've got going on. We're going to have to, that's a thing I'm going to have to solve. That's a thing I'm going to have to solve. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but that's the thing I'm going to have to solve. A way to have multiple miscellaneous junk chests, right? Um, so, yeah. Not a problem. Not a huge problem, per se, right? Realistically, not a big deal. But that's the thing I'm going to have to figure out a way to make it so that my mod can handle that. I think that would be true. Anyway. So now what we want to do is uh, bone meal a few trees 
and get some cool stuff, right? So let's get some oak saplings and let's get some, do we have any more bone meal? Mm, we have bone blocks. What do they do? Can't they turn directly into bone meal? Why, yes they can. Yes they can. I like that. That sounds cool. So now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grow a few of these guys. Hooray! Nice. And then we just um, plant that stuff. So they're golden leaves, but they look like they've got a ways to go. Because I think you can see on the on whale on the top left, they are actually golden leaves, but I think it takes a while for them to mature, right, and turn gold. And then they'll eventually spread, right? Am I right about that? Pretty sure that's how it worked. It's kind of how I remember it working. I think. See, look, guys, I just, this one's converting. Oh, look, this one's converting too. Sweet. So I don't know if they like, I wonder if they grow. Nature's or golden leaf, distance three, persistent stage one. Stage one. Now, can I bone meal it? No. But if they grow in the same way that plants grow, then watering can should work on that, right? We've got watering cans, don't we? We've got watering cans, don't we? I want to say that's a thing we have. So if I wanted to, let's water and can like this top one. Just, you know, experimenting, right? Stage one still. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot per se. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot per se. So this might just take a while. I'll keep an eye on this for a minute though. Hey guys, we're back. So Gigabit came by and he gifted me a Sigil of the Green Grove. That doesn't seem to be helping either. Uh, I will write... Uh-oh, I broke something. I right-clicked I right -clicked with the sigil of the Green Grove, and I think bad things happened. All right, guys, we're back. So uh, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, my. I'm thinking we uh, should probably wrap up the episode here and let these golden aura leaves grow a little bit. So you can see that like, they spread to the adjacent leaves, right? So... As time goes by, they should spread more and more quickly, and and not long from now will we have um, a decent a decent thing, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is plant a few more trees so that we can have like lots of this, and then what we'll do is we'll come back next episode. We'll have like a decent amount of this stuff that we can use to get into nature's aura. So yeah, it's already spreading. You can see it's already starting to spread. So I think what has to happen is like the tree, like the, the the stuff has to be like fully grown or like fully developed. It's probably three growth stages it has to go through. And bada bing bada boom. What we can do then is just get all of this growing in advance so that we have plenty to work with. That sound cool? And by the way, yeah, I totally crashed my client only though. Server was fine. Didn't crash the server. Client side only crash. Had to relaunch my instance. Not the end of the world. All right, so we'll wrap up here. Dude, I love the colored lights. They're so good. Super love the colored lights. We will wrap up here. Uh, we will come back next time. We will have a bunch, hopefully, of, uh, of gold leaf that we can use for Nature's Aura. And then we'll get into that mod uh, and, and see, you know, A, what kind of cool things we can do with it. Because, uh, you know, there may or may not be new things since 116. I don't know for sure. Or since 112, I mean. Now that we're in 116. You know what I mean. Uh, and we'll see what's up. All right. Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and have a little bit of fun with this stuff. For now, though, you know what to do. Take it easy.